Harvey, you are. Hey, Mocha, what are you doing over here, you silly girl? Good afternoon, everybody. Look at that. We've got four blenums that are managing to fit on that little bed over by the heater. This is Mocha. For anybody who doesn't know, Mocha and Juno are friends. Um, well, actually, they're litter mates. Juno, come here. Juno. Juno is um, one of our puppies um, that comes and visits. So she's here with us for like, like a week. Um, while her family, is, <laughs> I don't usually find out when they're coming back. I just hear that Juno is coming and that's all I know. And so then they drop her off and I just kind of find out from Drew when she's getting picked up because I don't really, I'm not interested in knowing when she's leaving. I just like to know that she's coming. She's such a good dog. She fits in really well with our group. Yes, you're a good girl. But um, anyway, so sorry for the late start. Um, uh, Drew is working on upgrading our internet to make a better streaming experience for all of you. And um, so we were hoping, hoping to have it together today. And finally, he just said, just use what we've got already. Um, I'll continue working on it later. So um, we didn't want to just keep waiting and waiting and waiting. So, um, so here we are. Um, the dogs are doing well. Robin is doing well. She She's actually resting right now, but she's been playing with Juno a lot. She's been very active. Um, I'm not sure if she's passed the stick. She may have, um, but she's not like tender on her belly. She's comfortable. She's, um, she's happy. She's very playful. She's like, she's her normal self. Hi, Remy, Remy, Remy. You're such a good girl. You are such a good girl. You are such a good girl. Um, um, Palm is going into heat. She's in heat. Um, so um, it does help us kind of plan a little bit because we will be around the next cycle. And so that does help us know that about six ish months from now, um, we'll be, she'll be ready to be um, mated for her next litter. And so um, if it's, or at the beginning of January, then we're probably looking at um, the beginning of July for mating her. So we'll, we'll kind of, it'll be easier to pin down the closer we get. So, but it's going to be her and Macchiato for that round. I think, I'm pretty sure. But we hope you guys have all had good holidays. Um, I saw too, Amber, if you're on, I saw that you got your tote. I'm really, really happy for you. I hope you love it. Um, I haven't even opened up your text message to read the whole thing. So um, I'm not quite sure if, what all you said, but <clears throat> I hope you love it. I'm sure, I'm sure you do because your message looked very excited. Um, but I hope, I hope you guys all love your merch items. Drew and I are going to get your um, giveaway items shipped out ASAP. Um, I was hoping to get there today, and I had errands that I was running. I started running them at 10 a.m. and only got home like about 20 minutes ago. Um, and so I was hoping to make it to the post office, but our post office closes like right about now, um, and I didn't have the stuff with me. So um, uh, I'm hoping to get that shipped out to you tomorrow. Um, to Amber and Shelly. Um, when I do, I will text you guys the tracking numbers so that you can track it. <clears throat> I'm just going to do like the priority today. But um, what else did I want to mention? Um, so I've you know for a few days. Aren't they cute? Aren't they sweet? They look like sisters, I think. What's funny is Juno. I think she knows that Palm is her mom and she tries to interact with Palm and Palm almost, I think she's like kind of confused because she seems to almost kind of reject her. And I don't know if it's like, <laughs> it's like the adult child coming back to the home at age 25 and she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. we talked about this. Um, because that's kind of how Palm acts like it. 
Juno tries to interact with her and Pom really snubs her and she won't really play with her. Um, sometime after dinner yesterday, um, Juno was trying to play with her and Pom was just completely giving her the cold shoulder and Juno finally just like sideswiped her. <laughs> it was really, really funny. Um, but it's just really interesting that I, I kind of thought that Pom would really be happy. So, um, I don't know. She might just be confused, but I would, I would, I don't know. I would think it wouldn't be that confusing. So it could just be personality. It could just be Pom's personality. That's always possible. You're such a good girl, Missy. I noticed that Daisy's tail is growing in. She's, her tail, um, like how um, Paris and Robin's tail is like nice and flowy. Daisy's is wiry and the fur just kind of wraps around it. And for some reason, the wiry all came out and her tail is just hanging real pretty now. It's really interesting. Daisy, where'd you go? I know she's not out, but where she was. She's upstairs. You're such a good girl. Daisy Doodle. You are such a good girl. Mocha, she's here. She's being really good. You are a good girl. Yeah, we're going to have all these mamas. We're going to have all the heat coming up pretty soon. When we have these. The first, it's going to be Missy, who had her litter in August. And then it's going to be the moms that had their litters in September and October. And so it's gonna be like a boom, 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 boom. All these moms that are on break that we've got to keep away from the studs. They get really, um, it's like the, the longer we get, like the further into heat that they get, the boys get crazier and crazier each day. And so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little jagged. And so it's gonna last a little time. Unfortunately, they're probably not all gonna go into heat right at the same time. But it's like the longer each day that passes that we don't let them mate, they get more and more frustrated. Um, but they display that with a lot of barking, uh, a lot of panicked barking. That's like the, I think that's the difference is they have a lot of panicked barking. And I think the first time that Drew and I really saw it, we were a little um, hurt. We didn't really expect it to be sound just so like um panic the panic is really the best way I can describe it because they it's this high pitch shrill and um we kind of put it all together um I think this was one of Missy's first heat cycles um well no she we didn't have spike yet on her first heat cycle so um had to been later on but um yeah, the boys are a little crazy when the moms are in heat. When they're not mating, if it's a if it's a cycle that they're mating, they're fine because they'll mate with them, and the other males know that one of the studs has claimed that mom, so to speak. And so, um, if they're if the mom's being mated, and the studs are out there, and the moms are here. The studs aren't barking and freaking out and jumping on the door and trying to get in. Um, the one that is mating with her just kind of knows that he's mating with her and they have like an ongoing, um, he courts her the whole time. He does nice things for her and he brings little gifts for her. He's really good to her. Um, and so they have like a little ongoing relationship. And so there's not all the, the crazy antics trying to get to her. Um, and then the other that, um, the one, because they don't do kosher with the mixing of fathers. And so one of them has um, been with a female once they've mated once. Missy, um, the other boys, typically there's not any issue with the other boys trying to go for her, even if she's still in heat and, you know, their hormones are crazy. If they know that um, Macchiato is already mated with her, they usually don't have really any problem. So that's why it's when the moms are on break that the boys are crazy. 
That's how you know moms are on break, is when the boys are crazy. Pregnancy dog. Where did everybody go? Your ears look so good. I'm such a good girl. Mom, I have an itch on my eyeball and it won't go away. Ooh, an itch? Yeah. And I've been trying to get it to go away and skin is raw right here because... Ooh. Yourself in the eyeball. Um, some eye drops. Oh, uh, would that reduce the itch? It might help, yeah. Hi there, Poppy. Hi, Sue. Hi, Jan. Another happy birthday to Minnie. Um, I wanted to do a little birthday celebration for her and Vienna on the 31st, and Don't then for the boys that. on the 1st, and then for the boys on the 1st, and then we got a little sidetracked. So happy birthday to to Minnie. I hope she's doing really well. I hope she got spoiled. Paris. Toys and a Scooters Pup Cup. That's awesome. I'm so happy. Scooters is Paris. a place that is important to us. Paris, come here. Rebecca Bond Samurai. Good to see you. Thanks for coming back. Oh my god. Oh my god, you get the ball. Oh yeah, they all the Vienna yeah, got, got it last time and kept it from all of them. Yeah, I got this from Paris and, and she loves it. We gotta get more of these. The brand is called Bentley's and they're little deer antlers. Deer antlers. Some of them some of them the shapes are awkward for Paris, so she doesn't like them. But there's these ones that are if they're like straight and clear cut, then she likes them. They're perfect. Something we can just get on Amazon? Uh, yeah, I think so. These are such good doggies. They are expensive, though, Mom. No, I know. They turn a premium to have to have them already split, and so... I, what I plan to do is order them, not split, and then dad can split them for us to add and go for her. Then that's foot power always smells so good. Yeah. 
Why do you have to do it? Because why would her aunt pay for two sets oh. of nails? No. You want to know how expensive they were? Oh, thank you. Twenty-five dollars. Oh, wow. For me, employee, and then it, and then a tip. I think it was a five-dollar tip. Mm -hmm. She tipped for me. Oh, by the way, um, I have some cheese curds for folders. Which is like that uh, balls of cheese that are fried, like with, with bread on top of them. Paris, go. Paris. Paris.
Hey, oh no. Paris, what are you doing? It's probably just the bone. I know. They're plastic. Pieces. Mocha, you have one too. No.
I'm making a base. Open. Is it Paris's turn yet? Uh, Paris. Yes. Yeah. She wasn't going to get up. Sloping is gross. Bella, stop. What? Let me say, say excuse me. What? Let me say excuse me. Bella, can you stop sleeping? Can you get up? Thank <laughs> you. 
I am definitely gonna What are you doing? Myra! Myra, what are you doing? Maybe he's a bone? Yeah, probably. Will. Oh, I can hear what you're laughing It's not even really funny. Watch. But the end is <laughs> so the end is hilarious. I'm only saying that because it said it. What is the thing laughing? Why is what is that? Hey! My guessy, I always every really day. How is it? It's an I every day. No And I always Bella, really did. stop screaming. You know, I can hear your voice. I can tell because I can hear it. Bella, I can hear what you're watching. What? I can hear what you're watching. I am. Because I can slightly hear it. Yeah, now? Not right now because probably nothing's playing. Can't hear it now. I'll just stop. Stop trying to test because 
I know what I was hearing. But look at my fort. Look at my base. Bella. What? Look at my base. You think it's cool? What? You think you don't like my base? Yep. I'm gonna add in the first floor. No. The fort edge. Just the base I wanted to make. Remember. Hey, uh, Macchiato, no. I'm going to need six more pieces for that. I'll finish this. Oh, I've already seen it. I just Bella. Bella. What? What superheroes do you think of? I say red. What? What super? I say red. I think of Iron Man. Iron Man doesn't have red. Yeah, he does. Iron Man. Iron Man. Uh, like body suit. Iron his red metal. Oh yeah. I just say it without Iron Man. My rope. Mom, this Iron Man or Spider Man? I see why you're not coming. Mom, you've got the antlers. Mom, this yes. Iron Man has more red than Spider Man. Um, that's a tough call. She's, she's asking you this because. Yeah. What someone else have the antler? I said, what superhero do you, superhero do you think of? When I said right, she said Spider Man. I said Iron Man, and I said this is not a bit. I said this is not a debate. I just think that Iron Man has more right. Yeah, well, that's 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 what Bradley said is, is right. Is he's saying there's nothing wrong with either of your answers? That you guys are both right. Okay, that's all he's saying. Because there isn't a wrong answer to that. Mom, look at the bunker I made. 
Here's Ian and Joey. Oh, yes. cool! Isn't that so cool? Oh, This video goes like this. If you see something, don't say it. Okay? Keep it to yourself. Uh, here comes Bella. No, I lost it. Comes the real challenge, Bella. I can't do it. I don't know what. Nothing. I changed my mind. This base is actually kind of cool. I like it. This bunker. Oh, oh. There, both look. I don't want it to be like a face. I don't want it to be like a face. So I'm going to get rid of all of that and just replace it to how it used to be. Plus, there'll be more space in my bunker if I do it like that. Way more space. I'm going to be using these pieces.
You stop spitting on you me. Stop. I'll only stop if you stop, stop spitting on me. Oh, I her. I made her first. She's a robot and I broke her. Bella, stop! This was a masterpiece. You just don't get it. Wait. Oh no! Death! No, I'm being spelled! And I need to get it before I hold it on Twitter! No, what are they doing to the dog? No. Are you on the air? Are you laughing? She's laughing. Little dog. That. You're lying. Lie. You're lying. You're lying. No, stop. Stop, you're gonna break that. You're gonna break the bunker, Bella. Was it intended for storing stuff? The floor storing stuff? It was not intended, intended to be storing stuff. Why? Because it's a bunker, not a storage room. A uh, bunker? Oh my god. I'm not telling you because you are <gasps> <laughs> 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 on it, Toto! It's a joke. Hey, Bell. What does this look like? Yeah. A bunker. No, like, it's an angel. So the twisted forms a bowl of Andros! A symbol! Symbol? Andros! A symbol! No. It's an animal. I'm just saying Avengers Assemble. Avengers Assemble! Avengers! Oh, that means you. Avengers! Assemble! Um. Assemble! What is it? What? What is this? What is your what? Is this a mole? Honestly, a mole? no, it's not a mole. Is I it a mole? I don't know the name of it. Is it a bowl? Is it a bowl? What's a bowl? A bowl? Oh. It's weird. It's an animal. Yeah, the one with twisted. A bowl? Yeah, that's. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Is that a cat? A cat? Does a cat have twisted horns? Is it a dog? It's not a house pet. Oh, is it a mermaid? Mermaids aren't real. That's <laughs> true though, they aren't. They aren't real, Bella. They are. You've already seen that one. Oh god. Is it a horse? No! What is it? What is it? Oh my god, I heard that. What is it? I don't know what it is. Well, it's doo doo. What? Bella! That's not funny! You just broke it! Yeah! And I don't know that. You don't know what it is? 
don't love me? Well, I do love you, but I don't like it. You have a villain. If you don't like it, doesn't mean you can break it. This took like 30 minutes to make. And the placings were really weird and it almost broke. Like, shattered. It almost shattered. And I'm taking this to my room because this bunker is insane. Right, that. Right, you did not buy those and they're not yours. They're everybody. Man, there's a lot of them. Okay, you okay, sweetie? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hi, many doggies. Hi, doggies. Hi, Anna, girl. Hi, Juno. Hi, Juno. Um, real quick, I was just thinking about this, and so I just wanted to come and um, mention this to you guys. Um, and I'll probably say something tomorrow at the beginning of the live stream. But we are really, really close to 5,000 subscribers. And so I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for um, supporting us and being there for us um, when things get tough. And um, just being a, just a really wonderful community for us to computer on and have you guys there. And who you guys all share mission that we that we do and so it's just a really nice um community that's really evolved and developed and so drew and i have been reflecting a little bit we never imagined our channel actually becoming a, any sort of like usable channel we just were using it to stream for families and um we've been surprised at how much it's grown and we love the, having the community to um, talk about things with and share the good times and the bad. Um, uh, you know, like um, we will share stories and things with family, but they don't like live here. And so they don't really know quite what it's like. And so we have that in you guys. We have people who kind of understand because you can kind of see what it's like managing all 12 dogs. Yeah, right now Drew and I are doing some maintenance and hygiene. And so we're calling them back one by one and taking care of them. Um, and, um, you know, it, when we have 12 dogs, there's a lot to maintain and, um, you know, like Robin's emergency on New Year's Eve and Paris's emergency on New Year's Eve last year, um, things can happen or things can move quickly, um, good or bad when, and doing what we do and you guys continue to love us and support us even when we get crabby and we're stressed out and um i know that there's been one or two deliveries that drew and i have been a little snippy with each other <laughs> um maybe said things we wouldn't have said otherwise um and so we just appreciate you guys for loving us through it and loving the dogs and supporting us and being there for us um, it means a lot to us um, because you are who we can share it with. And without you guys, we don't have anybody to really share it with. So at least anybody who can kind of see what we're talking about, you know. So uh, I just wanted to come and tell you guys that. Hi, sweetie. You are such a good girl. I love having you over. I'm so sad to give you back to your mom. You are such a good doggy. I feel like you kept the wrong dog from that letter. <laughs> You're such a good girl, Juno. That's okay. You are so happy with your family. You've got such a wonderful family. You have such a wonderful family. I love getting to know their families. Hi, Remy. Y'all, you're a good girl, too. And Juno has been incredible with using the tray. She's like a magnet to it. So if she's in any room, it doesn't matter what room she's in, where she is. It doesn't matter like where she is in relation to the tray. She'll sniff it out. She'll find it. 
Um, if she's in a room that there is not a tray readily accessible, she'll find it. Um, like if we're in the dining room, there's not one that's like right out in the dining room, just the ones that are blocked by the pens. Um, and so they would have to go either into our bedroom or into the living room. And she does that. She will go and find it. And even in here, when there's a ton of chaos in the kitchen during dinner time, um, when all the kids are in here, just everything is busy and loud, she'll still use that tray. That tray doesn't get used a whole lot. And I think it's because it's like out in the open. And Juno will walk over and go and squat this chaos and commotion. And I've been really, really impressed. So she uses this tray, this tray, the tray over in the pen, and the tray that we have over off, I think, in the living room. Um, and so I've been really, really amazed at how well she, how, how well, how good her potty training is at um, six or seven months old. Seven months old yet? No, not yet. Six months old. Um, and that's all a wonderful reflection of her family because um, potty training, it's got to, um, you got to stick with it. They can okay. easily unlearn um, habits and skills because if it's not reinforced, then a lot of times it's easier to just potty where they're not supposed to. And so um, we can tell what an awesome job her family is doing with her potty training. She is, she's doing so well. And she listens really well. She's a good doggy. Yeah, Juno's got a good family, huh? You're a good girl. Your fur is growing back in. Yay, your fur is growing. You're so pretty, Juno. I was just asking Drew what he thought of pairing once we once Daisy's back online. Um, pairing Daisy with Macchiato. We were talking about pairing her with Rio, and I think we'll pair her with Macchiato instead um, when she does have her next litter. Um, I think we should probably only have one more litter, but um, we were so we originally planned to do Rio, and I think that we'll probably do Macchiato. Um, just so that we have a macchiato litter, a macchiato and daisy litter. And then if she has another litter, then we'll probably do Rio. Um, but I think we'll do macchiato. We could still change our minds. I don't know. Things change all the time. Bella, Shnella. There's the Bella. That's where you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 